In this video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a navigation bar very, very quickly with HTML and CSS. That's it, nothing more, but we're going to be copying the Facebook navigation bar just so it's nice and simple and it teaches you how to do it. And uh, yeah, so let's move over to our, our other screen. Let's continue. All right, so let's go over to the browser. As we can see on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got my Facebook profile, my public profile as well. There's my son, there's me, happy days. All right, this is the navigation bar we're gonna be creating, this top one, this white one. And we're gonna create this on the right-hand side using simple HTML and CSS. I haven't started anything yet apart from making a folder with a JS folder, CSS folder, and with an index.html. And I've started a server in the background. But you don't really need to know about that because you're just learning how to create a CSS. Or, or used to some CSS right now. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got our index.html. Let's start by creating a HTML tag and then create a head tag and then with inside of our body, create the body, body tag here. And we're gonna need some CSS, so let's just say this here and we'll say we'll, we'll put it in a CSS folder, which we have already, and I'm gonna call it CSS. And then we're gonna close this and then we're going to say rel is equal to then style sheet. Next, we're going to come in our body and we're going to create a, a div here, which is going to be our navigation bar. And we're going to say nav bar. For the time being, we're not going to put anything else inside of it. And underneath it, we're just going to say this is our web page. And also, because we want to be a tiny bit professional, we're going to say fake Facebook page like this and if we come over here now and refresh it we've got this is our web page which is fine so let's create our layout.css now that's happy days let's split our screen get rid of that here and close that down okay so let's come into our css file and we'll say navbar and uh, we're going to say width is equal to 100% view width so it's going to take the whole width essentially it's exactly the same as saying 100 percent but we're saying it's 100 percent of the view width the height we're going to make it 60 we'll adjust it uh, later and the background is going to then be a1 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 like a gray and then the color for the time being will be uh, white so let's have a look again what have we got okay we've got this we want to get rid of these margins around the edge at the moment that's default on the web browser it's got a margin so let's get rid of these and we can come in our CSS and we can just say star and here we'll just say margin zero, padding zero and that'll just wipe it out for everything. Refresh it, now we've got a menu. It looks like it's 60 anyway. I didn't know it was 60 but I just guessed it was 60. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna create a row of boxes going all the way down and we're gonna use this by doing flex box or flex should just call it. So what we need to say is that our nav bar is display flex and it's then going to be flex direction row. So we want it going left to right. And then align items, we want to have, um, align items we want to have to flex start, we want to have at the beginning. And then justify content, we will have in uh, the center. So we want it vertically centered, essentially. Right, let's put our first box inside of here. So we'll say um, FB logo. And let's make it width is equal to uh, 40 pixels, height is equal to 40 pixels, background is equal to uh, red, and uh, that'll be it, right? So let's put our div in here, and we'll call this then, yeah, what we already named it, this, and we'll come back and we'll refresh our page. Okay, so we can see center, I uh, did it the items it wants. Did I get it the wrong way? Okay, yeah, and we want this as center. Sorry, went a bit fast. There we go, now we've got them in the center. So let's let's add our next um, search icon in, in here. And uh, we can take this again, and we can say search icon, and we'll make this yellow, and copy this, and say search icon. Refresh this and we've got our search icon. We want a little bit of padding between between it as well So we'll say Margin left 10 pixels refresh it again. We've got some margin on the left hand side of the Facebook logo We want some margin as well. So let's say 
margin uh, left is 20 pixels. Refresh it, and now we've got it. Okay, so now we want to create our home icon. So let's create a home icon. But essentially, what we've got, we've got, let's say, four logos here in the middle, and then we've got another one, then we've got one to the right. So let's start by creating, um, let's have a think about this, because that opens up. And these four logos to the right, they, they tend to stay to the right. So what we'll do is um, we'll create, because what we want is some of the logos to stay to the left and some of the other logos to stay to the right. So we want to know that they don't kind of like um, mix around each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a, a left column here and they're going to sit in the left col column, and then our other ones are going to sit in the right column. All right, and it may, may be that we do a middle column as well. So let's come here and say then left column. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. This is going to be display flex two, and um, there we've got the nav bar, display flex two, flex direction. It's also going to be row, and essentially what we want to do is we want to copy this completely. So our our items sit properly, and let's change. Let's copy this again and say right column and align items. We want flex ends. So let's have a refresh of this. See how it looks. Okay. So we've got two, but what we want to have is that left column and right column. So this one's going to be flex 0.5, and this one's going to be flex 0.52, and that should now move them on each side. Now on our other icons, we're doing uh, margin left, and or margin right, margin left. We want to change that around. So we've got here, we've got our, we'll call it account, account button, notification bell, message bell. So we've got our accounts, notifications, messages and plus button plus here so we're going to just name these icons first of all and uh, just to make them the way they are which right, sorry we want to copy this and call it icon first of all and we'll get rid of this so we know that we're all going to be um, this width and stuff we can get rid of that, and we can get rid of that. So it means that we can say on here that this is an icon, this is an icon, this is an icon, this two, this two. This is now this is now given them all the width and the height of forty. Now we've got. Uh, our different logos can then have different margins, left and right, background colors, and stuff like that. So our accounts, for example, on this one we want to know that it's then got a margin left of 10 pixels. And we could actually make another one say then uh, margin left is then going to be margin left is then. 10 pixels just like this and what this will do is rather than us writing it a whole bunch of times we can just write this class once and we'll say margin left margin left margin left and we can also say for the last one margin right and uh, here margin right here let's have another try okay so it's because icon notification. Let's have a look what, oh, we didn't have a background color. So let's um, give it this one a background of uh, blue and uh, give it notifications of uh, background of uh, orange and then messages of background color of purple and uh, then plus it's going to be then background of white. So have a look at this looks like. Okay, now we've got our three buttons. We wanted four buttons. Um, 
a plus messages background purple so we've got white was plus yes and then we've got messages was purple yes and we've then got notifications was that yes and our account background was blue so why why did the account not come in here let's have a look ah, okay because we need icon as well refresh this now we've got our four buttons on on the right hand side so now let's let's concentrate on having our um, buttons in the middle all right so let's copy this once again and now we say the middle column and let's just dump these for now we come here again and now we want to say middle column now it, it's more than likely that we're going to have 33 percent of each so we'll, we'll keep them now at rather than this here we'll say 0.33 and then 0.33 and middle column as well like this so now they're taking up a third uh, of it and uh, the, this one justify content wants to be center so let's refresh this now looks exactly the same as expected so let's add another icon in here and this one is going to be home so let's change home icon and uh, come down here home icon is going to be then on a tomato let's have a look yep we've got it in the middle so now it's what's this next one do uh, media or something let's call it let's call it media and I'm running out of colors, I think. Let's say violets. Refresh this. Oh, got media now, and that needs then also margin left. So we'll say uh, margin left. Yep. And next, we want to have uh, oh, it's marketplace. So we'll say marketplace here and this can be and uh, still blue looks good and marketplace whoops yes marketplace in here refresh it that's there and then also people let's have and uh, people in here and we'll make it a background color of spring green so people oops and uh, was that saved people my, yes why is that not showing people is there middle column people middle spell okay something wrong with that one let's have a look middle one something didn't save there i'm guessing oh i didn't save it that's why that's why it didn't save right now we've got our three buttons in the middle and if we then bring this in we still see that they all they all come together um but they're still there uh yeah, so essentially, essentially, this is how it was very, very basic, but it shows you how you can make a navigation bar using Flex or CSS and stuff like that to position the, the things around. And they're, they're kind of dynamic. There is some more that you would need to do uh, and so on with JavaScript, but that's a basic understanding of how you do this. This was really just a, a small intro to how to do it, but it should be enough to give you a really good understanding how to create a navigation bar using CSS and Flex. Right, that's it. My name's David Dawn. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.